Howdy, howdy, and welcome to another episode. Do you believe that two is better than one? When your hands are cold, it's nice to have two gloves. If you like riding your bicycle, it's good to have two wheels so that you can go smoothly. Well, it's kind of that way with friendship, too. By yourself, it's nice sometimes, but when you're with your friend, it's great. I've got a lot of friends that are very warm and will help our show go smoothly today. They're from Songnam Totem Elementary School. Welcome! Thank you so much for coming today. I'm sure the show will be warm, smooth, and very, very exciting. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, then, let's go! There's an old saying that goes, a rolling stone gathers no moss. And this saying is the perfect way of introducing Chodim Elementary School students. These kids know that the sky's the limit when you give your best. Think big, aim high. Chodim students are ready to take a shot at our show. So don't miss the next big battle of Super Kids. I know you guys are awesome students. You will do well on the Super Kids. Good luck, everyone. Toy Elementary! We are It's time for Super Speed Quiz! A 60 second time limit. The more scores there are, the better. All right, it is time to begin the speed quiz where moving is important, thinking quickly is important, but listening to the entire hint may be the difference of getting a point or not getting a point. Now the person who's going to give us our fantastic hints is Callie. Hi, Callie. Hello, Isaac. It's great to be here. And the students from Chotam Elementary seem super smart and super excited. I think this is going to be an exciting super speed quiz round. Sounds super. And we have our first super team right here. Hi, what's your team name? My team name is Apple. Okay, and your name? My name is Jungwoo Park. Nice to meet you. Do you have a question for me? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Berkeley, California. <laughs> Thanks for your question. And are you warm? No. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's begin. All right, public transportation, not a bus. Someone drives you, you pay the money. Taxi. Very good. All right, a room in the house, you cook in there. Your mom? Kitchen. Very good. Kitchen. All right, opposite of plus. What? Opposite of plus. Minus. Very good. Okay, you go to the zoo and you see a lot of these. Animals. Good. Very good. All right. You need this to watch a movie. You buy a? Ticket. Very good. Kitchen. All right, you put flowers in this. It's kind of shaped like this. You put a flower in it. What? Base. Very good. All right, good. Okay, when you sew, you need thread and a sharp out. You need needle. Very good. All right. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Frock. Very good. All right. You give these to boys on Valentine's Day. It's Chocolate. sweet and dark. Chocolate. Very good. All right. You log on to the internet. Very good. Okay. After you take a shower, you need to dry yourself with a towel. Very good. Okay. After kindergarten, it's first grade. Oh! Perfection. We've landed in perfection. Great, great job. No wrong answers. The last one was, what was the last answer, Kelly? It was after kindergarten. The answer was elementary school. Oh, they just ran out of time. And the total is 11 points. Great job. Next team, come on out. The last team did a great job. I have a feeling this next team's gonna do a pretty good job too. Let's meet them. Hi, what's your team name? My team name is Lemon. Okay, and your name? My name is Chung Min Ryu. Nice to meet you. And do you have a question for me? What is your hobby? My hobby? I like reading books. Do you like reading books? Yes. Excellent, okay. 
Let's begin. Part of your body with five toes. Sometimes it smells. You put Leg. socks on it. Uh. You put socks and shoes on it. Okay. Okay. Foot. Okay. And then you sit at a chair and blank at school. Desk. Very good. Okay. You go to this place and you put money in there. You get money in, money Bank. out. Very good. Fantastic. All right. Your best blank. Boy blank, girl blank. At Friend. school. At Friend. school? Okay, okay, good. All right. You go on summer blank or winter blank when there's no school. Location. Okay, good. An animal that has a very long neck. Really Dress. long. Okay, good. And you brush your hair, not with a brush, but with a comb. Very good. All right, it's sweet, white, powder. You put it in coffee. Uh, sugar. Very good. Okay, opposite of skinny. You're kind of opposite of skinny. Not sick. sick. Okay. Okay, what is this? Oh, oh. very good. Very good job. All right, opposite of skinny, I'm glad she didn't say Isaac, but I think the answer is fat. That's right, and put this in coffee. How would they know, Callie? They don't drink coffee. Do you guys drink coffee? Well, yes, I heard a couple yeses. You're scaring me. <laughs> the answer was sugar. Excellent job. And let's see what the total is. Eight points, not bad. Let's have the next team. We're halfway there. Let's meet the next team. Hi, what's your team name? My team name is Kiwi. Okay, and your name? Ngi Hong. Uh, question for me today. Do you like to work in here? Do I like working at Arirang? Of course. I love it here. Mm, okay. <laughs> I'm serious, I do. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Then let's begin. All right, what's this part of my face? Right here. Mm. This part right here. What's this? Jaw. Okay. Pass. All right. It's round. You need it in your shirt and jacket to close. It's round and you put it in. I have one right here. What's this? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, weather. Winter? It, it, it blows your hair. All right. You look at this and you can see yourself. And in the bathroom, Mirror? you look at yourself. Wait. Okay, good. Now, quack, 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 quack. Stop. Quack. Very good. Okay. All right. It's like an airplane, but it has propellers on top. Helicopter. Very good. Fantastic. All right, when your teeth hurt, you see the, you go to this doctor. When your teeth Dentist. hurt. Very good. All right, what am I eating? It's vegetable. Pop blank. You go to the movies and eat pop blank. Coke. Okay. Okay, on a tree, this changes color in the autumn. Beef. Very good, all right. When there's fire, you see a lot of smoke. Oh. 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 The last one, I don't know. It was just right there, right right there. Whew. Very good job. Um, when you go to the movies, you eat popcorn. It was corn. Okay, let's see. They got a total of seven points. Very, very good. We have one more team to go. Come on out. Our final team is ready. They want to start. Let's see who they are. Hi, what's your team name? My team name is Orange. Okay, and your name? My name is Young In Kim. Nice to meet you. Do you have a question for me? What university did you gra graduate? Well, my undergraduate was UC Berkeley. Uh, maybe you can go there in the future. Okay, now let's begin. All right, on your hand, what is this? Finger. What is, which finger? Thumb. Okay, good. All right, it's a game. Blank and seek. Hide. Very good. All right. This is the Korean alphabet made by King Sejong. Korean Four. alphabet. Okay. All right. B. Tongbang Shingi. What are their jobs? Um, actors. Oh, no. Okay. You sign this when someone's birthday. It's not a present, but Cards? you give them. Very good. All right. It's a beef between two buns, and you eat it. It's like a sandwich. Cheese. You can also put cheese in there. It's like a sandwich. Uh, you eat it. Okay. okay. You climb these to go up to the second floor. You have to climb the stairs. Very good. All right, it's round, and what am I doing? It's round, and I pull up. Okay, good. And chairs, desks, tables, what are all these? In your house, you have a lot of? Okay. Oh. Okay. 
Very good, very good. They got a total of five points. High five. Some teams got better, some teams got not as good. It doesn't matter. The point is that all those points go to the next round. They can help you, they can't hurt you. Now, our help of today, thank you very much, was Callie. Thanks. Thank you. I had a great time, and I think the students at Chodim are doing a great job, so good luck. A great job indeed. Okay, speed done. We're moving on to the next round. or false button about one same topic. Get two points with correct answers, but lose a point if you're wrong. Someone asked me earlier if I liked working here. Well, I don't. I love it. You know why? Because I meet new people and I learn a lot. I love edutainment, education, entertainment. Now, today our theme for the true or false is Kogudyo. We're gonna learn a lot about Kogudyo if you don't know it, our viewers and our participants. And we have two teams right now. We've got Apple and Lemon. They brought with them some points. Apple has 11 points. Lemon has eight. And here is our first true or false question on Kogudyo. In the legend of Chumong, Chumong was born from an egg. In the legend of Jumong, Jumong was born from an egg. Okay, same answer. Let's see what the correct answer is. It's true. Excellent job. Obviously some bright guys, very bright guys. Let's see, the score's going up. Mm-hmm, excited about that. Let's have the next set. Come on up. The other set goes back. I love this dance we have. It's almost like sparring a little bit. Two teams ready for the next Kogudyo question. Kogudyo's National Academy was called Songyunguan. Kogudyo's National Academy was called Songyunguan. Okay, very good. Same answer. Let's see if that answer is the correct answer. It is! Again, scores going up. These guys did their homework. They know about Kogudyo. All right, let's see if they get the next question right. Mm-hmm. Here it is. Kogudyo was destroyed by the Xi Dynasty of China. Kogudyo was destroyed by the Xi Dynasty of China. All right, different answers this time. Let's see what the correct answer is. False. All right, very good job. Apple team got that one. Yes, indeed. And the answer is actually is by the Shilla or China's Tang Dynasty. That's the group that destroyed Kogudyo. Okay, let's check out the points real quick. Apple has 17, Lemon has 11. It's not over yet. Here's the next question. Kogudyo expanded the territory to its largest when King Changsu ruled the country. Kogudyo expanded the territory to its largest when King Jiangsu ruled the country. All right, very good. Same answer, is that the correct answer? Yes, it is. Woo. Very good job. We have one more true or false question for these two teams on Kogudyo. Here it is. The first capital of Kogudyo was Pyongyang. The first capital of Kogudyo was Pyongyang. Let's see. Same answer. Okay. Is that the correct answer? Yes, it is. Indeed. The correct, I guess, capital was Kungnaesong. It was Kungnaesong. So, okay. Out of all the points, Apple has 21 points. Lemon has less than that, 15. So that means that Apple's moving on to the next round. 
first two teams very knowledgeable on the Koguryo dynasty. Let's see if the next two do as well or even better. Let's see, we've got Kiwi, they brought with them seven points. Orange brought with them five points. All right, now we begin with our first true or false question for them. The first king of Koguryo was King Dong Myung Song. The first king of Koguryo was King Dong Myung Song. Both have the same answer. Is it correct? Yes, it is. Indeed, that is correct. Very good job. Let's have those guys move back. The other guys move forward. And if you're ready, we'll have the next true or false question on Goguryeo. Goguryeo held a ceremony called Yonggo to worship the heavens. Goguryeo held a ceremony called Yonggo to worship the heavens. Differing answers. The correct answer is false. Very good. All right, let's see, let's see. It was actually called Dongmeng. It was called Dongmeng. So points are changing right now. Kiwi got the right answer, orange didn't. Kiwi's points are orange six. Let's see how things change with this next question. Goguryeo accepted Buddhism when King So Surim ruled the country. Goguryeo accepted Buddhism when King So Surim ruled the country. Same answer, both teams. The correct answer is true. Very good job. Oh my goodness, these guys really did their homework. Excellent job. We've got a couple more questions. Here is the next one. Tam Jing taught the Japanese to make paper. Tam Jing taught the Japanese to make paper. Differing answers. The correct answer is true. Okay, Kiwis on a roll. I think the Kiwi team, they're all gonna grow up to be teachers of the Koguryo. Okay, we've got another question. Here it is. The monument of King Gwanggeto the Great is now located in China. The monument of King Gwanggeto the Great is now located in China. True or false? The correct answer is true. Both teams, great job. Actually, it's in the Jilin, Jilin province of China. If you wanna visit, it's in the Jilin province of China. Okay, let's see. Ooh, Kiwi team, very good. Orange team, not bad. And by the way, this week we did Kokuryo. Next week, a little hint for the school that's going to visit. It's going to be the Nobel Prize. Very exciting. Okay, total points. Kiwi 17, Orange 9. That means Kiwi moves on to the next round. Hello, everyone. I'm Park Jae-hyun. What am I doing here in Turim Elementary School? I've heard a rumor that students keep disappearing after school. So here I am ready to solve the mystery once and for all. I am determined to find out where these kids hide after school. Willing to join me? Then come on! So what are you doing here? Why aren't you going home? How did you know where to find me? Please don't tell this to my mom. What was I doing alone in this room? Well, I wanted to spend some private time looking at these creative artworks. Mine is also displayed, but the other pieces really give me inspiration for my next work. Looking at other students' works sparks my creativity. I see. Well, my first mission is accomplished. Go 
Mata, what are you doing here? Oh, how did you find me? I thought I was so well hidden. I stop by the library whenever I have a chance. My hobby is to read, so this is my favorite place in the whole school. Our school library has a huge collection of books, and my goal is to read every one of them before I graduate. Hmm, maybe I should take a break and read a book myself. No, wait, I have to find another missing student. Indeed you did. Guess you want to know what I am doing here, right? Well, our school offers tea ceremony lessons to all students. We all have our own tea sets and we learn the proper manners in drinking tea. I just love this class. It really calms my mind. Mission accomplished. I'm pretty good, right? Now, I can understand why students just don't go home. Turin is such a nice school. It's a shame to just go home. I believe there are still some students hiding, so I should come back and really search every nook and cranny. But my job is done today. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys. It's Battle of the Brains! 20 competitors remain. It's a one-to-one -one survivor game. Only two kids will go through. Who will they be? All right, only two teams have advanced, and now there are no more teams. That's right, no one to help you or hurt you. Your fate is in your own hands, or in your own brain. Battle of the Brains is a great time for us to eliminate all but two that will advance on to the next and final round. But now we must move to our starter question. Let's see who will be our first number. All right, here's the starter question. If you know the answer, please raise your hand quickly and say super. What city will the 2008 Olympics be held in? Okay, I see a hand. Number 18. Okay, what's your answer? Basing. Very good. Hi, number 18. You seem warmer than the others. You got the right answer. Yes, Beijing is the correct answer. No point for that, but you got a little practice. And let me ask you what your favorite class is. Oh, I don't have, like, favorite thing, but... So you like yeah. all your classes? Yeah, almost. Very good. Maybe all that studying in your classes will help you. Please choose a number. Um, number four. Number four, come on out! Hi, number four, how are you? Okay. Okay. Do you have a favorite class? Yes. What is it? Math class. Math? Yes. Okay, well, let's see if this next question is a math question. Each of the following sentences gives you a number. Add them up and give us the total. The number of colors seen on the taegukki. The number of verses of eguka the Korean National Anthem. The type of coins currently used in Korea. Add them up. Okay, number 18. Um, 12. Yes, indeed. Very good job. One point off for 18. The number of colors in the Taegukki, four. That's right. The number of verses in the Korean National Anthem, again, four. And those coins, Let's see, so there's the, the 10 won, there's the 50, the 100, and 500. Whew, four again, add them up, is 12. Very good job. Please choose an opponent. Number 16. Number 16. Yeah. 
Hi, number 16. Do you have a favorite sport? Yes, I like basketball. Basketball. I wonder why. All right. Well, here is a question for both of you. This was invented in Sweden as a means of transportation. It helped people move faster on icy surfaces. As its blades became stronger, they were used in sports. Number 18. Um, skate. Oh, wow. Yes, that's true. Ice skates. Very good. Obviously, it's a lesson to all who are participating. If you want, you can answer in the middle of the hint. But if you don't get the right answer, the opportunity goes to the opponent. Okay, team, please choose another opponent. Number seven. Number seven. <laughs> Number 18. A monkey. Yeah. Okay. Number 18. Number two. That is correct. Do you know the answer? The answer is? Um, Surat Mountain. Yeah. Okay, who's your next opponent? Um, number 15, please. 15, come on out. It is one of the most well-known desserts in Western cuisine. What is this cold, creamy food? Oh, both pressed at 18, pressed first. Mm, ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Number 18 has six points on the board. Very good job. Do you have a favorite ice cream flavor? Um, I like all. All ice cream, like all classes. This guy likes all things. Okay, who's your next opponent? Number nine, please. Number nine. <laughs> all right, number nine, how are you? Good. Okay. When you're at home, do your parents let you uh, do stuff on the computer a lot? A little bit. A little bit? Okay. So you like the computer. That may help you on this next question. Among internet domain names, AC is a domain for academies, such as universities. CO is a domain for commercial companies. Then, what does GO stand for? What does it stand for? Hmm. A lot of different things stand for different things. AC stands for academies, CO, commercial companies, AR, Korea. What does it stand for? What's your answer, 18? The government. Yes, indeed! Woo! On a roll, continuing. I assume, 18, that you also like the computer. Yeah. Do your parents let you do the computer every day? Yeah, but I can't do, like, a lot of times. You don't have that much yeah. time to do the, the computer. Okay. Well, who is your next opponent? Number 12, please. Number 12, come on out! Hi, number 12. Hi. Do you have a favorite season? I like summer. Because? Uh, because I like swimming. You like swimming. Okay, good reason. Here's your question. This is a spiral-shaped windstorm created by warm air suddenly rising from the ground. In The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy was swept into... Number 12. Tornado. Yes, indeed. Okay. <laughs> a lot of happiness here, even the monkeys jumping around because there's been a shakeup. Of course, still in the lead, number 18 has seven points total. That's a lot of points. And we'll see how many points our second place person will get. At the moment, that position is held by number 12. Number 12, please choose a number. Number six. Number six. Hi, number six. Hi. Outside of school, do you play any sports or do you get any exercise? What do you like to do? 
I like to do, I like to play tennis. Like to play tennis? Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, here is a question for both you guys. Fall is a great season to ride bikes outside, but you should always pay attention to the traffic signs. What is the meaning of this traffic sign? One, bikes can't park here. Two, ride your bike slowly. Three, no bikes allowed. Okay, number 12. Number three. Yes. That's the correct answer. Very good, very good. Number 12. Do you have a bicycle? Yes, I have a bicycle. How often do you ride it? Oh, once a week. Alone or with your friends? Uh, Alone or with uh, your friends? With my friends. Very, very good. Okay. Let's invite another friend up to compete with you. Number 10. Number 10. Hi, number 10, how are you? Fine. Do you like to read books? Yes. Do you remember the last book you read? I read Ray Miserable. Wow, that's a very big book. And there's a musical too, very good, very good. Okay, here's the question for both of you guys. In Chungyangjeon, Mongmyong first fell in love with Chunyang on this day. Falling on May 5th of the lunar calendar, it is a day made to pray for a plentiful harvest. Women used to wash their hair in Changpo, iris water, on this day. What is this day? Number 12. May 5th? Uh, May, 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 May 5th? No, oh, that's not it. We want the name of this day. Something day. What day is this? Okay, the chance goes to 10 right now. Do you have the answer? Yes? Tano. Yeah. Very good, very good. Okay, let me refresh your memories now. The leader, first place right now has seven points. In the second place position, with two points, is number 12. Very good, and right now with one point on the board is number 10. Okay, number 10, please choose an opponent. Number two. Number two! Okay, number two, how are you? Fine. What do you like to do with your mom and dad when you do stuff together on the weekend? Mm, go, to, go to the park. Go to the park. Great. Do you ride your bike there or just sit around or play? What do you do? Just walk. Just walk. Fabulous. I love walking. And hopefully you will love this next question. Using the given numbers below, make the largest even number possible. Ooh, the biggest even number. Okay, number 10. 8,763. Ooh, that's an odd number. Okay, number two. 8,736. Yes! That is the right answer. Very good job. Obviously, walking in the park, thinking about math, perhaps, or odd and even numbers. <laughs> Very good job. Please choose a number. Number five. Number five. All right, wait for the odd number. Hi, number five, how are you? A number bit five? nervous. A bit nervous, okay, I understand. I, I've been there myself. Let me ask you what you want to be in the future. I want to be a movie producer. A movie producer. Excellent. Do you have a favorite movie? Not really. Okay, but you like to watch movies? Yes. Excellent. What movie did you see most recently? Um. Did you see Kremur? Yes. Oh, were you scared? Not really. Not really. Okay. Here is a question for both of you guys. The two sentences below tell us the lesson from the hare and the tortoise of Aesop's fables. What is the appropriate word for both blanks? Blank and steady wins the race. Blank but sure. Number slow? two. Yes, the answer is slow. Very good. 
number two with two points. Got that from Aesop's Fables. Slow and steady wins the race. That's what's important. And of course, the, the turtle or tortoise won the race that way, moving slow and steady. Who's your next number? Number one. Number one. Hi, number one. Hi. Do you have a favorite animal? Yes. What is it? Um, a scorpion. The scorpion? It's not scary at all? But a, I never pet it. You never pet it, but you like the look of a scorpion? Yes. Okay. Well, here's a question for you guys, scorpions. In Kongji Patri, there are a couple of animals that help Kongji carry out the impossible tasks. One animal helped her by covering up the hole in a jar so it could be filled up with water. Number two. Toad. Yes, that is correct. What a kind toad. Can you imagine filling the hole with your body? Okay, pour in the water. I'll help you out. Very good job. What is your next opponent's number? Number 14. Number 14. Hi, number 14. Hi. Do you like to travel? No. Have you ever traveled outside of Korea? Mm, no. Have you traveled inside Korea? Yeah. Is there a place that you like? No. No? Just right here, right now? Okay, let's enjoy the moment and let's enjoy this next question. Starting its service in 1981, this was the world's second commercial high-speed train. This is the same type of train as the KTX Korea Train Express. What is the name of this French high-speed train service? Ooh. Okay, I think we're looking for some letters here. In Japan, it's called the Shinkansen. In Germany, ICE. In France, what are the three letters for that high-speed train? i give you five seconds. Okay, going to the floor now. Does anybody know what it is? On the floor, if you know, raise your hand and say super. Stand up please, number 20. What is it? Desiree. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Obviously, we're gonna be doing some switching here. If you look at the leaderboard once again, in the first place position is 18 with seven points. Second place right now with three points. Number two, very, very good. Things are changing around. Let's see if they change more. Now, number 20, you got a point for having the right answer. T, G, V. You said, DGV, c'est très bon. C'est fantastique, very good. What is the next number? Number three. Number three! All right, number three. Mm, what do you do in your free time? Um, I draw stuff. You draw stuff? Wow, do you like cartoons or do you draw people? What do you usually draw? I draw everything. Everything. So do you think in the future you might be an artist? No. Or it's just a hobby? Just a hobby. Okay, very good. Here's the question. Look at the three set of numbers and figure out what goes in the square. Looks like a math question. Who's gonna get this one first? They all have something in common. What goes in the square? Will number 20 get it? Will number three get it? <gasps> Getting a little bit nervous. Okay. What's it gonna be? A math question, guys. Gonna give you five seconds. <gasps> number three. 
The answer is five. Oh, no, that's not it. The chance now goes to number 20. If you know it, please push your button. Three seconds, two seconds, one. All right, we're now going to the floor. If you know the answer and you're sitting down, raise your hand and say super. Number 19, please stand up. What is your answer? Seven. Yes, it is. Very, very good. Very good, number 19. Looks like your legs are a little bit sore. Been sitting a long time. Good job. That's right, all of those added up to 11, so it was number seven. Very, very good. Um, do you have a number you like sitting on the floor you want to compete with? Um, 17. Number 17, come on out. Hi, number 17, how are you? Mm, I'm fine. Okay, your legs aren't sore from sitting down too long? Mm, not really. Okay, <laughs> here's a question for both of you guys. A monk from the Three Kingdoms period, this man played an important role in spreading Buddhism in Korea. The tale of his enlightenment after drinking water from a human skull is quite famous. Who is this man? Sol Chong, a great writer in Chile, was the son of this man and a Shilla princess, Yo Sok. So this guy actually was the famous father of the man, Sol Chong. Who is this guy? Okay, it begins with a W. His name begins with a W. Number 17. Mm, Won Hyo. Yeah. That's right. It is Won Hyo. Very, very good. A lot of uh, interesting stories about this man in history. Okay, we have one more person. Let's see, just come on up, number, number eight. Okay, number eight. Do you like to travel? Yes. Where have you traveled? Uh, Jeju-do. I'm sorry? Jeju-do. To Jeju-do, a fantastic place to go. Okay, here is your question. East and West Germany became united in 1990. Therefore, the long wall that separated the West and East of this city came down as a country became unified. What city is this? What city is this? Where that big wall, not in China, but in, in Germany was. It was dividing the East and the West. When they united in 1990, the wall came down. Where's that city the wall was in? Big city in Germany, it is actually the capital of Germany. Number eight. Berlin. Yeah. Very good. Okay, now this is what happens. We're not done yet, because we have to have an opponent for you to see if you can answer more questions. So we go to the second place position right now, held by number two. Number two, please come on out and compete with number eight. All right, guys, if number eight gets two questions in a row, he'll tie it up. If number two gets the answer, well, then she advances with number 18. Okay, here's the question. Five students in Isaac's classroom are going to have an arm wrestling contest. Everyone gets a chance to compete against each other. How many matches will there be in total? Number two. 10 matches. That is correct. Very good. And of course, that means with four points, number two advances. Not alone, it's with number 18. Very good job, both of you advancing to the final round. Our final round has come. 
time for Head to Head. Limited to three questions each, who will be a super kid today? Contestant number two, Shim ha Yun, dreams of becoming a doctor, an anatomist in particular. She really is a precious child who looks up to her parents as her role models. Contestant number 18, Cho Hyung Yu. This math loving guy also has great respect for his parents. Hey, future game producer, how about creating a computer game that is fun for adults and kids alike in the future? We did it. We have arrived in our final round head to head. Obviously, the two heads here are very, very smart and seems like very nice too. Okay, let's meet them a little bit, get a little up close and personal. Let's go to our leader first. We'll go to Hyung Yu. Hi, Hyung Yu, we know you're a smart guy. You like all your classes, but what do you like to do in your free time? I like playing computer games. Oh yeah? yeah do you play well, often? Not very much. How much do you do a day? 40 minutes a day. 40 minutes a day, okay. We heard that you want to be a, a game producer in the future. Mm. So I guess that 40 minutes, even though it's not a long time, is going to help you. Yeah. Okay, and let's go over here and meet our other participant, the second place person. Hi, Yun. Hi, hi, Yun. Hi. And what do you like to do in your free time? Um, read. Read. What was the last book you read? A Wrinkle in Time. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Aren't there a few books in that series? I think it was four. Four, okay. We've got computer, reading, obviously really bright guys. Now, just a reminder, we've got categories here and opportunities to score points. You may not score three points each, it doesn't matter. There may not be a tiebreaker, but so many things can happen. We wish you the best of luck. Okay, Hyung Yu was our leader coming into this round with the most points. That means that Haiyan will actually choose a category for him. Choose a challenging category for your opponent. Let's see, we got animal, fruit, object, title, day, and number. What category do you choose? Object. Object it is. Let's hear the hint. Think of an object that has something related to the following words. Zoom in, shutter, lens, Kimchi. Okay. Do you know what this object is, Kyungju? Do you have an answer? No. All right. Give you a second. Give you five seconds, actually. Something related to these words. Five seconds. Ooh. The answer is camera. That's right. You get to zoom in. There's a shutter, of course, a lens. And when you take the picture, you say, kimchi. Ah, camera was the name of the object. OK, so zero points there. Hyung Yu gets to choose a category for Haiyan. Let's see what categories remain. Animal, fruit, title, day, and number. Um, title. Please. Title it is. Here is the question. Listen to the following words and figure out what they have in common. Cricket, whale, puppet, lie. Okay. Do you know the answer? No. No? We're going to give you five seconds. If you like books. The answer is Pinocchio. Pinocchio, that's right. Of course, there's the cricket in the story. Remember, he reunites with his dad and the whale. And when he lies, his nose grows long. The puppet Pinocchio. OK, still tie game. It's OK. Doesn't matter. But it is Haiyan's turn to choose a category. Let's see what categories remain. Animal, fruit, day, and number. Your choice. Number. Number. Here is the question. What number do the following words have in common? 
neutral pH. Kyonu and Jinya. Dwarfs. Big Dipper. Okay, Kyungyu. Do you know the number? Seven. The number seven? Hmm. Yes! That's right. Very good. Now there's one point on Hyungyu's scoreboard. Very, very good. Seven dwarves. There's seven stars in the Big Dipper. The number seven. Lucky number seven, maybe. Okay, now let's look at the categories. It's Hyungyu's turn to choose one for Han Yun. We've got animal. There's fruit. And day remaining. Please choose a category. Day, please. Day. Here's the day question. What day do the following words make you think of? O. Henry, reindeer, sock, chimney. Okay, do you know the answer? Yes. What is it? Christmas. Very good. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, 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 the game is tied up. First question, a bit tough for both. Second question, maybe a bit easy. It's tied right now. 1-1. One, one. So, let's see if the tie breaks or we have to go to a tiebreaker. First, we got to choose a category. It's your turn to choose Haiyan. Remaining categories, animal and fruit. Animal. Animal is the category. Here's the animal question. Think of an animal that has something in common with the following words. Dog family, full moon, three little pigs, Mowgli in the Jungle Book. Okay, he's thinking about it. Do you have your answer? Can yes. You? What is it? Wolf. Wolf it is! That's right. In the dog family, that's true. Full moon. Oh, oh. Wolf is the correct answer. Very, very good. Three little pigs, too. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Okay, please choose the, well, actually, there's one category remaining. It's fruit. So that automatically goes to high end. We'll hear it, but just a reminder, this could be the last question or it could be a tie. We'll see if she gets the right answer. Here is the question. What fruit comes to mind when you hear the following words? Campbell, France, red or green, raisin. Okay, looks like she has an answer. Let's see, do you? Yes. What is it? Great. Yes! Okay, very good. It's tied at two apiece. Well, that means we gotta go to a tiebreaker. Now, what happens is you guys have to push your things down. Whoever pushes first gets that opportunity to give the answer, okay? So when you hear this question, if you know the answer, you can answer in the middle of the hint, that's possible. But if you do and you get the wrong answer, the opponent gets to hear the hint to the end very slowly. Okay, here is a possible tie-breaking question. What do the following words have in common? Miracle. Cruise. Okay, Hyungyu has pushed his button. What is your answer? Um, Han River. That is correct! Oh, wow. Very exciting match. Both Hyungyu and Haiyan did a fantastic job, of course. Hyungyu pulled it out at the end. The tiebreaker went to him. The answer was Han River. So our super kid today is Kyung Yu. Congratulations! Arirang is looking for natural born super kids. Elementary schools that have what it takes can visit Arirang's homepage, www.arirang.co.kr, and click on the super kids link. We're waiting for you to seize the challenge.
All right, the students of Totem Elementary School did a super job. We finally found a super kid. Let's uh, talk briefly with our second place winner, Haiyan. Haiyan, how are you feeling? I'm really happy. Did a very good job. Anything to say to mom and dad? I love them. Oh, we always hear that. Great, great, great. Now let's talk to our champion, our super kid today. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> great. Okay, we're working on the smile. And anything you want to say to mom and dad? Oh, same as her. Same as her? I love And them. what you really want, though, we know what you want. You want some more computer time. So mom and dad, <laughs> give them a little more time. You know, 50 minutes, not just 40. You're the boss. Okay, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. We had a great time, guys, right? Yeah! All right, we'll see you next time here on Super Kids. Bye-bye! Yeah!